good afternoon all so in today's lecture we'll study the 15th assignment from the pps here 15th assignment is we need to accept string from the user side and after that we are going to perform this operation on the uh, on that string so at this starting we need to calculate the length of the string so first we'll take the input we'll take the string from the user side the str1 is a variable and input is a function with the help of which you are going to take the input and string from the user side okay in prompt i have written enter the string so you will get the string from the user side so str ln string length is one variable i have declared here and for that variable size is given as a zero after that we will require a for loop with the help of which you can access each and every letter from that string okay that string is given within the str1 letter so for i in a i is iterative variable str1 is the uh, variable name where we have taken that uh, string from the user side after that we'll increase the value of that uh, str ln this string length variable by one for each and every iteration okay so str ln is equal to str ln plus 1 so with the help of this statement we'll increase the uh, size of that variable by 1 for each and every iteration so with the help of this you will get the total number of letters from the string and it means you will get the length of the string so we'll take the length of the string here if you required if you want you can use built in function also but here i have calculated it manually suppose the string we have taken from the user side is suppose i mean three letters are there so length of the string is 3 so first operation is working properly now we will move to the next operation next one is string reversal so we need to reverse that string to reverse a string one formula is there suppose reverse string up we are going to store that reverse string in str2 variable it is equal to str1 in square bracket you will require double colon and minus 1 so with the help of this formula we are going to reverse that string okay we'll print reverse string here reverse string is equal to str2 we'll run this program and we'll check whether it is working or not so yes we have given the string mno it will gives you the reverse string o and m okay now the uh, next operation is equality check of two strings so for this purpose we'll require one more string from the user side So for equality check, we need to take one more string from the user side. Suppose str three is that string. You will require the input function with the help of which you can take the input from the user side. Right? So enter second string. Okay. Now we need to check whether both the strings are equal or not. So for that purpose, we'll use if statement here. If string one is equal to equal to string three, then print that both the strings are equal. And else we are going to print that both the strings are not equal. Okay, if both the strings are equal. If this condition is true, str one is equal to equal to str three, it means both the strings are equal. And if this condition is false, we'll print that both the strings are not equal. Okay, we'll run this program. We'll check whether it is working or not. Parenthesis is missing here. Okay, now we'll execute this program. The first string is suppose three. Okay, so it will gives you the Reverse string. Now we will require the second string for the equality check. 
the second thing is suppose again i have taken the same string from the user side here it will use that both the strings are equal now we'll check it for the different strings and when is first string and the second one is nop okay so both the strings are not equal if we'll check whether both the string one and string one, three are equal no this three are string one and string three both the strings are different so it will give you output that both the strings are not equal so third operation is also working properly now we'll move to the next operation check the palindrome so now here we'll discuss what is a palindrome palindrome is nothing but your first string is suppose your nan nan is your first string okay so in case of palindrome we'll check whether this string and its reverse string if both the strings are equal then that string is known as a it is a palindrome so nan is your str1 and the reverse string of this string is again the same word so both the strings are equal this string and its reverse string both are equal it means this string is a palindrome and if both the strings are not equal then we'll print that it is not a palindrome okay so now your first string we have taken from the user side we'll check whether it is palindrome or not for that purpose we'll check this reverse string str2 and str1 if both the strings are equal then it is a palindrome so we'll use if statement here if str1 is equal to equal to str2 your str1 is first string which you have taken from the user side and str2 it is a reverse string of that first string so if both the strings are equal and see if reverse string is also equal to the string which you have taken from the user side then print here that it is a palindrome okay else we are going to print it that it's not a palindrome okay i will execute this program so here the first string is we'll take the palindrome string and then is first string we have taken its reverse string is and then again okay as both the string string and its reverse string are equal so it is a palindrome we'll run this program for not palindrome for the value suppose first string is mno second uh, string here okay here both the strings are not equal mno its uh, reverse string is onn so both are not equal so it will give you it is not a palindrome so third uh, operation is so fourth operation is also working properly here okay now we'll move to the last operation last one is we need to check whether it is a substring or not so for that purpose we need to take one more uh, one more string from the user side and we'll check whether that string is a substring of previous first string or not okay it means what here yeah, suppose you have taken m and o this string from the user side okay and if you have taken the next string from the user side is mn mn it is given within this string right so that's why it is a substring of it or if the second string means no no is a next string so no it is also given within this string so that's why it is a substring of this string okay we'll check it by using we'll perform this operation by using the uh, python here so for this purpose you will require one more string from the user side so substring is suppose variable name in which you will take the input from the user side so here enter string we'll write it here to check substring enter the string to check the substring of uh, first string so we have taken the input from the user side and that input is given within a substring uh, variable now we'll check whether this substring is given inside this string one or not so for that purpose we will require for loop here 
for instead of i variable we'll use here substring okay this variable whether this input this string is given within the string one or not if it is given within the string then we'll print that it is a substring of the first string the for loop here if statement is required if this substring is given within the string one if this substring is a part of string one then we'll print it as a it is a substring otherwise else we'll print that it is not a substring here we'll check whether that substring is given within the string one or not otherwise we'll print that as a not substring we'll run this program so i mean is your first string suppose the second string is also i mean then it will use that both the strings are equal after that it is not palindrome as i mean is reverse string is not equal to i mean enter string okay so it is not palindrome enter the string to check whether it is a substring of set or not will enter suppose i mean here yeah. i mean it is given inside this i mean string so it will print it as a substring we'll run this program again we'll enter the first string as a programming yes this is the now we need to enter the uh, string to check whether it is a substring of it or not okay so here we'll use gra gra this substring is given inside this program so we'll check whether it is giving you correct output or not yes it is giving you that it's present within that string so it is a substring of it we'll execute this program one more time now i will give this string like this m and g okay m and g these two letters are not given yahan pe m and g a continuation mein nahi diye right so this output not substring aana chahiye so we'll check yes it is giving you output that it is not present within the uh, this string programming mein mg continuation mein nahi hai So it will give the output that it is not substring of it. Okay. So we have performed all these operations on the string. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.